Rhode Island oh, yeah. Amazon and Oh, okay. We're on. Hi. Hello. Mike and Tara are trying to get it together, people. Actually, that one I can open later if I need to. Well, everything you say is going to be live. I don't know if it's actually on yet. <laughs> uh, okay, what am I doing? Yeah, you're live. Hey. Facebook. Hello again. Hey. <laughs> oh, I guess I need to see if we're live. <clears throat> so I've decided I need to have plastic surgery. What? <laughs> so my face is always smiling like yours. Is that why? Is that how it happened for me? Ooh, you look lovely when you do How that. would it be if I was like this permanently? I'd probably like that. <laughs> Becky, Sharon, Wendy. What do you guys think? Should I be like this Amy, permanently? Amy, Stephanie, Numismatic. Yay. Should you be like that permanently? Yeah. Perhaps. Okay. Today Whoa. we are making salad dressing, so while everybody's getting on here, I'm going to cut up our salad. Lorinda, John, Susan, Kay, Roberta. Well, Keep seeing David. Our, like, That's our David. What? Our romper room. <laughs> Pillows here. Welcome. Oh, sorry. Welcome to the doing? show. Did I make you a salad? Uh, technically, I was going to wait till tomorrow, okay, but I can well, do it today fine. if you no, want. Wait. Okay, so I'm making one salad, not two. Uh, <laughs> I don't see you as a stepford wife, Suzanne says. <laughs> uh, <laughs> see, I knew somebody would have something to say about that. Leanne says, hey guys, got my order. Soap is amazing. Yay. Lorinda got the book today and loves it. Aw, sorry you've been sick, Tasha. Oh, do you want me to show you cutting stuff? No, I'm just cutting up my salad oh. while we're waiting for everybody to get on here. So today we're making homemade salad dressing. And I'm cutting me up a salad. Mm -hmm. Um, <laughs> to test it on, to be all yummy licious. Now, how many salad dressings did we put in that post? I didn't even count. Did there count? are six, and there's also a um, a salad. So there's six salad dressings on livingondime.com, the post that's up there today. Michael put the link in there. It's in the description below. But first of all, don't forget, guys. It's the last day for the ultimate bundle, so if you want some great ideas for um, menu planning, getting organized, getting in shape, all that fun stuff, um, go grab our ultimate bundles. It ends today, so once it's gone, it's gone. You're not going to get it for like six more months. They only do it every so often. They don't do the same one ever again. Uh-uh. No, oh. the same one won't be around ever. People but, are saying no plastic surgery. <laughs> no plastic surgery. <laughs> Wasn't my idea. Well, right, everyone says that you. you're always smiley. So I figured if they're saying you're smiley, then I'm grumpy. So maybe I should be permanently smiley. <laughs> what do you think? I don't think I better say anything with you have a knife in your hand. <laughs> <laughs> See, that is a smart man. <laughs> Love your apron. Thank you. One of our viewers, I can't remember who sent this to me. Was it Darren? I can't remember. <laughs> I totally forgot who sent it to me. Oh, Nancy says, so happy to see you too. Thanks for all you do. Thank you. Oh, well, thank you. Okay, so I'm cutting up my salad here, getting that done. These dressings actually take like two minutes. So I'm going to be making soap, but that's why I'm cutting up my salad while everybody's getting on here so everybody doesn't freak out. Why aren't you doing the show? Well, because it only took two minutes to do because the recipes in Dining and Dime Cookbook are so quick and easy. Right? So don't start up too quick. So, okay, so there's my lovely salad. Ooh, Everyone give me a wow, thumbs up. Wow, that is a lovely salad. Did I do good? Yeah. For all of you who think I don't ever make salads, there you go. I make them all the time. <laughs> um, okay, so my salad I'm putting back here. Wiping up my salad mess. Joanne just made the brownies. She said, don't tell Hershey, but they're better. Been making a Hershey recipe Ooh, for years. Ooh, the brownies in Dining on a Dime are better than Hershey's? Wow, thank you. Man, see? We got some going here. Oh, Rosemary said, I'm so glad you're doing this. I need new salad dressing recipes. So, one of the comments we always get on our um, new How to Save on, Save on Groceries Facebook group. Go join it if you want to save on groceries is in our Dining on a Dime cookbook, Eat Better, Spend Less, we have a whole section on, oops, how to make your own homemade salad dressings. Bottled salad dressing really wasn't around until 
pretty recently, like the 60s, 70s. Really? That late? Yeah. I mean, even in the 50s, I think they were still making, I don't think in the 50s, I should have asked grandma. I don't know. But even in the 50s, I don't know that they had a lot about bottled salad dressing. And ranch didn't come around to like, what, 70s, 80s? Somewhere around there, ranch wasn't even invented. So salad dressings have not been around for a while. So we're going to make up a couple here. Well, dear, we have Lynn says, so excited to see you live. And Kara says, hello from Spokane. Just started watching you just a few days ago, and I'm enjoying your shows. Well, thank you. Thank we you. used to live in Idaho, so we know exactly where Spokane is. We like Spokane a lot. We thought about moving there at one point. <sighs> Until we saw the taxes. <laughs> no, I was meaning when we lived in Idaho still. <laughs> oh, yeah, when we lived in Idaho. Okay, so we have <laughs> several different recipes in here, but I'm going to start with ranch, and I'm going to do ranch and Thousand Island. Those are my two favorite and possibly the old-fashioned one that's on the website. Michael put the link on there, yeah? For which thing? The oh, salad dressings. Emirates just said we're all just trying to get it together. I think that was when you were talking about your smile or whatever. Oh. <laughs> For all those people who think I'm not happy, half the time it's not that I'm not happy, it's that I'm like concentrating or I'm really sick or I'm just not feeling good or something like that. But Okay, so here we go. So we are making what happened? Oh. We're making ranch first, okay? So <laughs> put our mayonnaise in. Oh hey, Judy says get to view a live show too. Glad you're here, Judy. Hello. <laughs> and my big mixing bowl is I don't know where my big mixing bowl is. T. Gooding said, I thought when you said you were having plastic surgery, you were getting rid of your Tupperware containers. That's oh, good. that's good. There you go. That's beautiful. Except, is the white blowing out the show, Dave, on the uh, bowl? Oh, we need to go. Oh, there we go. No, it's not blowing okay. out everything. All right. So we're going to make some ranch dressing here. Oops, I guess my bowl's not really big enough, is it? Do you hmm. need a different bowl? All right. I don't have onion flakes, so I'm just going to use onion powder. Okay, so I got my buttermilk and my mayonnaise in there. I ran out of oregano, so we're gonna wait on that. And then my parsley. Okay. This is yeah, my homemade good. dried parsley too. This is like super special. It even has stems in it. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Sip and joyful. Then garlic powder liking your tar queen of the kitchen oh thank you i don't remember who was it darren that got or i can't remember who got it for me i'm so sorry whoever got it for me and i forgot i apologize my brain is fried i was setting up a new etsy store today because you know me i have decided to come out with a new product <laughs> so i was getting that all set up today but I'm super excited about it. I think it's going to be great. Okay, so that was my pepper and my salt because the world needs more salt, people. And then my cayenne pepper. Doop -de -doop -de -doop. Oh, Amy says, so glad you're making salad dressing today. Homemade tastes much better than store-bought. It does, doesn't it? Hey, and Ellen was saying low-sodium salad dressing is very expensive. You could probably make it low-sodium, couldn't you? Oh, yeah, you could just leave out the salt or do salt substitute if you want. Ellen, are you getting your kitchen all cleaned up, girlfriend? I've been seeing your posts. Okay, so now, in true tar style, because my bowl is too small... <laughs> <laughs> we're just gonna sit here and mix for a minute now this is best if you let it refrigerate for um if you let it refrigerate for like an hour or two before serving um and um yeah it just lets the Taste meld. There's a piece of parsley stem. So Oops. Linda wants to know, are you making a cucumber ranch? No, today I'm making ranch. Although I could, I got a cucumber there. I could do it, I guess. I didn't think about it, but um, 
Okay, my mayonnaise does not want to get in. All right, so now you could take a stick blender to this if your mayonnaise isn't getting all. Come on. Okay, now let's see. Oh, Meredith mm. is joining us yeah. too, new. Okay, needs Texas. more salt. And we like ours garlicky. So I'm gonna add a little bit more garlic too. Because, you know what, and more salt, why not? Okay, there we go. Get this mixed up. What, did our live audience leave us? No, <laughs> our live studio audience. <laughs> we have a live studio. Ooh, today's a very special day, but we're not gonna tell you what yet. What? Ooh, we should have them guess. We should and ask see, them who remembered first. We should have, we should have <laughs> them guess why today is a very special day. Well, on the, it's not your anniversary. And if anybody guesses, then we'll give them a book. Oh, man, your wife is a good cook. Don't forget it. I won't. As long as you don't throw a swing that knife at me. Okay, here we go. Oh, Amy just ordered once from the cookbook so bad. It's on my Mother's Day list, she said. Right, right. What do you think? Mmm. Isn't that delicious? Which one is that? Mmm. Mm. The ranch? That is amazing. Man, that is better than my my favorite jar one. I or, know. <laughs> which I is, know. wow. We haven't good? made this in a long time. I haven't made it forever. I do remember mm. from way back in the day now, but I had forgotten. <laughs> Tar makes everything look so easy. So Gavin, easy. do you like cucumbers? Not really. Oh. Everyone thinks Sorry. it's your anniversary, but no. It's not our anniversary. Oh, That's 1021. Okay. So there's ranch so do right we give there. Any hints? No, we don't give any hints. Because then they'll guess. The next one we're making is Thousand Island. <laughs> this Tar is my other favorite one. <laughs> Rosemary says, Tara, you're happy. You're just determined, strong, and concentrating. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Well, today I worked and worked and worked. Doesn't seem like it's much work, but man alive. Setting up an Etsy store is work. But I got it done and I'm feeling good and I cannot wait to show you guys. Okay, so got my mayonnaise, got my uh, sweet pickle, got my ketchup, got my bell pepper, which I don't didn't get minced yet. <clears throat> Denise says it's National Eggs Benedict Day. Is it really? I guess. Huh. Well, there you go. You did, know, I've never had Eggs Benedict. Did you say something about a new product? You got a video. I do. I have a new product, but you guys won't even huh. guess what it is. You guys aren't even going to guess because but, I'm just so excited. Wait, can I say it? No. Hold up. Don't open it. your mouth. Let me guess in the chat. No. <laughs> David Joshua. You're hey, going to be toast. Oh, Stu family says it's National Living on a Dime Day. Ooh, <laughs> we should make a lit. Oh, we should make it National Living on a Dime Day, so then we'll always remember this day. Okay. Uh, my bell pepper and then my parsley again. Getting parsley. You can use fresh or dried. I just happen to have dried because I don't have fresh. Onion so powder. What? So, is there onion powder and onion flakes on that recipe? Yes. I see. I just didn't have any onion flakes. Does it happen to be the cookbook anniversary? Nope, it's not the cookbook anniversary. So. Good just guess, though. I thought that was on, like, what? Okay. Not the furthest guess, though. No, it's not the furthest from the thing. <laughs> Nobody's guessing. Oh, Well, people are, people are guessing a lot of things that uh, I, I'm not sure about, about your... My what? What did I do? No, about what you're about. If I say, then everybody's gonna know right away. Wow. <laughs> okay. Is it the first printing of not just beans? No, nope, it's not. Okay, Worcestershire sauce got that in there. My lemon juice, which I forgot to reconstitute my dehydrated lemon here, but hey, we'll just go for it because it's Tara. Okay. Cherry wants to know: Can you use dry buttermilk instead of milk? <clears throat> instead of milk. Um. You probably could. I would say you could add buttermilk powder to the milk. Yeah, you could do that if you want. 
By the way, at livingonadime.com, we have a recipe and in Dining on a Dime on how to make homemade buttermilk. It's super simple. And I actually make it all the time. I just didn't have any starter to get going this time. It is on page buttermilk. It is on page 301 to make homemade buttermilk. What is that one? Without having to go out and milk the cow either. Okay, it's great. Wait. I have a few guesses. People want to know, is it your first date? Uh, buttermilk right there. Nope, it's not our first date. First airing of the show? Nope. Okay, you got engaged? No. Um, wow, but I think people are kind of wow. thinking in the right they're, zone. They're getting close. They're in the right uh, zone. Anniversary of your first date? No. <laughs> you guys are actually in the right direction, though. Okay, so here's Thousand Island. Let me test it. Ah! Mm -hmm. oh, man, I'm a good cook. Uh, Joanne is asking, are these recipes in Dining on a Dime? Uh, yes, they are. Page are. 168, 169. Do you like Thousand Island? I do. I, okay. Not as much as Here I like. Is it your anniversary of being debt free? Nope. Man. All right, good cook. That tastes just like Thousand Island. <laughs> Actually, it tastes better. Mmm. It's like... Now, I don't put the egg in it for my like Thousand Island. It's kind of like the Burger King, not Burger King. It's kind of like the burger, like the Big Mac sauce. I think that's what Big Mac sauce is. Thousand Island? Yeah. I always thought that. I think it is. Mm-hmm. And that's it, guys. Right there, I have two dressings done. In Ooh. what, five minutes, oh, ten minutes? Man, Shannon's on the right track too, but not there yet. Nobody's guessed it yet. The day you and Mike said you love each other. Uh-uh. Getting close, close though. You guys are actually wait, getting really close. Wait, I have a question. Is it your first kiss? <laughs> Did we ever say that? <laughs> no, not the date of our first kiss. Okay, Amy's got it. Huh? Amy's got it. Dear. Huh? Amy, Amy it. got it? Amy Ooh! R. I don't know. Yes. If, I'm not sure that nobody else got it first, but Amy got it. Amy okay, got it. Amy got it. So Amy, go to the livingonadime.com, click contact, and send me your information. I'll send you a book. It's the day we met. Which oh, is wait. close. Oh. Wait, it's close to the day of our first date. Oh. Because Betty, our first date was Betty the next also day. Said it. Mm. <laughs> huh? Betty Buchanan said it, and so did Jennifer Weber on Facebook. Were they before Amy? Well, yeah, but they're on Facebook. And Who was first, YouTube Jennifer or Betty? Delayed. Oh, well, actually, uh-oh. YouTube is delayed more. So. Actually, there's other people here. Well, but no, let's see. Jamie, Jamie got it. Jane got it before, so... <laughs> uh-oh. Uh, Numismatic had gotten it earlier, too. And Fun Cooking Channel. Oh, great. So who got it first? Well, oh wait, Suzanne Pos Posmato said it first on Facebook. So Suzanne said it first on Suzanne Facebook. Posmato, yeah. <laughs> so do I need to grab the names of everybody that said it on? <laughs> we'll just see who got it first. Well, you just told Amy. It's... Didn't Amy get it first? Well, yeah, she did. She was the first one I saw, but then I looked back and there's other people saying it too. She got it oh, there was. YouTube. So Jane said it. Jamie, love you more. Soaps. And then. Um, Fun Cooking Channel got it. So they got it before the Amy did? Yes. Oh no! And then, that's why I said, better be careful what you say because I haven't verified and nobody else said it yet. Um, and then on Facebook, did you see who it was, Dave? Did you get who was first? Um, on Facebook, it was Susan Posmato. For, yeah, Susan... P-O-S-E-M-A-T-O. -E so what are you going to do now? All right, here? Susan, send me, Susan, send me your thing. And everyone Susan, you send me your, um, send me your information. Who do you think oh, got it first? Oh, the day Mike proposed. Who do you think got it first on... Well, see, on... these are some great guesses. Who do you think got it first on YouTube? Oh, I know who got it first on YouTube. So I said Amy, so we should definitely still send her one. Um, we'll but, send one to Amy, but who then got it first before Amy? Uh, Numismatic got it first. Okay. Send me, livingonadime.com, those three people, Amy, Numismatic, and who was the other one? Susan. 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 Okay. 
So, Sen. <laughs> Amy's the first one we saw. Amy was the first Amy's one we saw. Amy's the first one that got it. Okay, Dave, can you stick all this oh, back in wow. the door, please? I, I really think I like these answers. Why? We should have made. Oh, you know, the first day anniversary of Mike proposing. Oh, oh. someone said get a room. Did Mike propose? <laughs> yes, Mike did. <laughs> <laughs> so, because we were kissing, we are married. Thank you. Birth of your first child. No, I didn't put up with all of this. But that's a good day too. To not be able too. to kiss him. Let me tell you. <laughs> first time you saw your husband. Oh, that was that's good. Well, sort of. Yeah, it was the first time I saw him. Yeah. So you guys want to hear the story of how we met? We've had people ask how we met. That's why I thought today would be a good day. Aww, like one of those super I'm loving moments. the answers. Where dad just walks into the chocolate shop and then all of a sudden his pupils Wait. turn to hearts. <laughs> <laughs> you have to come tell the story, Dave, since you've heard it before. Super romantic music and everything. Come tell everyone. <laughs> Karen wants to know how long will the dressings keep in the pitch? Um, like two weeks. Yeah, somewhere around there, two, three weeks. They'll keep quite a, quite a long time. Okay, hold on just a second. I could say how you guys met, but I don't know. You, um... <laughs> you so do we tell them how we met? We've had people ask ask how we have met, so do we tell them? Uh, Madeline says yes, tell us how you met. Okay. So, Dad's sister... No, not really. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, so do you know how we met? Wasn't it? Uh, I think Let's it see was, if Dave knows how we met. I thought it was his sister was traveling to like Texas or something. Yeah. And so they were like meeting up at that one chocolate shop or something. Uh -huh. Yeah. And then his sister was just like, oh, I'm going to go over here and do this stuff. And you just sit there. And he was just sitting there with, you know, his heart eye, his heart pupils and everything. And then he just went up to mom and was like, hey. Can I have chocolate, please? And then, you know, we <laughs> went through a whole s spiel about, you know. <laughs> so, yeah, Dave's yeah. actually pretty right. So, <laughs> like 90 Mike's sister, sure. I worked with Mike's sister at the fudge shop in Estes Park. And she um. was leaving to go to Texas, and that was her last day of work. And he came in to say goodbye to her. But then she wouldn't talk to me. <laughs> his sister wouldn't talk to him, so he started talking to me. And then we had our first date the next day. Woohoo! And the rest was history. It was the Fudge Works of Estes. Yep. And Which is not no called the Fudge there. Works of Estes. It's still a fudge shop, but it's a different one. Yeah. It's not the best one anymore, though. No, it's not. <laughs> another, another what company took over and it's not as good now as it used to be but what else is what else is new uh, so simply joyful says that. i think you guys need to go back to that chocolate shop you know what it's it's not very far from us it's like 40 miles from us yeah. so we go up there fairly regularly although we we often go in there and say oh wasn't that Aww. wonderful we met here let's go across the street and buy fudge at laura's <laughs> <laughs> Because the people that bought it out, it's just not as good as it no. was. Uh -uh. But still, we we point it out to the kids whenever we go by. Yeah. Not that they care. But. So this is the anniversary of the day we met. <gasps> it's How many Jody's days? Birthday. 24 years ago, too. Woo! Man, we're Rhonda's getting to right, the old in Estes parts. Park. Yep, in Estes Park. That's where we met. So, oh, Tasha was first. Okay, Tasha, well, email me. Well, actually, there, there's another one that. that oh, there's like four people that say they were first. Well, that's why I was thinking we should think that out a little more ahead. <laughs> Sorry. Uh oh. You know me. I don't think out. Of, I don't think ahead. Apparently not. That's okay. I still love you. Um. The day we went steady. Oh, that's cool. Uh, all right. So you're so looking So we only questions? dated six months before we Next were married. Next day, Mike works quickly. Well, Mike was afraid. Oh, that's a big surprise. But, but once we were talking, I'm like, come on, tomorrow. <laughs> well, and she had, that night, she had a, her uh, landlady was having a party downstairs from where she was. So she was having to 
Well, she was wanting me to come down to this party, but I didn't really want to go to this party. <laughs> and so Mike happened to call me on the phone, and so I had that good excuse to not go to the party. I was not really a party animal. So oh, thankfully he... Um, wait, dad's sister was... No, my landlord was having oh, a party. Oh, you're right. Boy. Um, and like, so thankfully <laughs> he called, so I had that excuse to get out of the party then. But yeah, I lived. Well, she kept up saying, I, "I'm supposed to be taking chairs down to them. I need to go do that." And then she said, "Well, I'll wait a few minutes to do that." And like two hours later, <laughs> yeah. So anyway, Sharon wants um, to know: Do you ever make peppermint soap? I do. Yeah, I might make it again. I don't know if I have any peppermint. I think I'm out of peppermint fragrance right now. Shannon says, "Tell us your love story." That was it. Did you talk about the national park thing? I was, I was looking at the comments. Oh, no. We just, on our first date, we walked around the national park and looked all over everywhere. Rocky Mountain National Park. For like... We had 17 hours was our first date. Hours. We were walking around everywhere. So, okay. So. Oh, I made the broccoli soup you guys did the other day. My husband isn't a soup person and he loved it. Looking forward to buying your cookbook. Yay! Yay. Okay, so this one I'm making is going to be a mermaid type soap. I don't have any mermaid tails, but it's going to be mermaid <laughs> colors, okay? By the way, you said something about a new product and everybody's just... Okay, I'm going to show you my new product in just a second. It has to do to with my down? soap. Okay, so I have my oils up to 111 and my lye is 115. Okay, so I'm pouring in my lye water at 115. Check out my How to Make Soap for Beginners e-course oh, if you want to learn how to make soap. Super simple. Um, I'm rinsing out my lye bucket. Also, if you want, check out my How to Make Soap YouTube channel because I have a ton of soaping videos on there too. Do I even want to know? Maxine just said, my husband killed my pet turkey. I got even with him and married him. He's been paying for it ever since. Oh, my. <laughs> well, that's a new one, a pet turkey. Hmm. So share your YouTube channel. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to blend this. <laughs> oh, wow, Christine, you beat us. All right, there we go. That looks very nice. That is trace where you see how it drips along the top. That is what trace is. It's just where you can see the drips kind of hesitate before they fall in. Okay. I'm go this way. Thanks. Uh, <clears throat> uh, so a couple of people asking, what are you doing now? They're so just joining us. I am making soap because my salad dressing's in. Dining on a Dime cookbook went so quick. Thousand Island and Ranch, it takes like five minutes to make. Super yummy. <clears throat> so, do I even want to know? <laughs> Pamela says the kids should care about how we met. <laughs> she said otherwise they wouldn't be here at all. That's true. <laughs> That's true. BJ and Ellie are on another adventure. They are on their way, or they are in Arizona right now. So they're having a good old time. So Christine asks, how long did you date before getting married? Hubby and I only knew each other five months before we got married, and this year we married 33 years. Wow. Well, you, you beat, beat us. us. We Not by much. Six months. <laughs> six months. So. How old were we? How old were we? 22 and 24. 24. Yeah. Yep. So. 22 and 24. We were 22 and 24 when we met. Wait, is that yeah. right? And 22 and Wait. 24 when we got married. Mom no, 22. 21 and 20. 21 and 24 when we met. And Whoa, 22 I was and. In the cradle there, girl. You were. <laughs> Man. Wow. You guys got married fast. Yes. Wow. Well, yeah, we I'm both knew. We both mistakes. knew what we wanted. Couldn't let that go. I'm gonna learn from your mistakes. <laughs> Tasha wants to know if you're selling laundry stuff on Etsy. No, like... I'm not selling laundry soap on Etsy yet. I'm selling something else, actually. So I'm going to show you my new product that I'm selling in just a second here. Okay. 
Oh, we're going to have to do a birthday song eventually. Uh-oh. Where are your gloves, be... Miss Tara? My gloves are on my hand. <laughs> oh, I see. There must be, I must be reading from behind. Oh. Do you use the live bucket for other uses? Yeah. Well, you can, but these I keep separate just because it's my, it's my business my business sort of now but since I sell it I keep it separate now but before I made soap to sell I um, just used them just for everything else. Laurel wants to know did you get a new stick blender? <laughs> uh, yes my stick blender died. It says tested works. You must have gotten it at the thrift store. I did I paid $1.50 for it. See right here two dollars and I paid $1.50 because it was like 20% off day or something. Um, Catherine wants to know how many dressings do you make? <laughs> Actually, I really don't make dressings all that often. This is the first I've made them in forever. Should have you make them more. So, but I should make them more because they're really super good. Okay, so I'm doing three different colors of blue and green from a mermaid here. Um, there was another question. Oh, lie. Come up, Dave, for just a second. So let me talk to you about lye for just a minute. Somebody asked me if I use the same bowl. Here's the thing. Lye is used in a ton of things and you don't even realize it. So it's really not dangerous to use lye in your regular kitchen bowls. Now I do it separately because I sell my soap, but if you um, want to just use your kitchen stuff, it's totally fine. Oven cleaner is lye and people use oven cleaner all the time and then they go cook in their oven it's no big deal drain cleaner is lye people use drain cleaner all the time and then they wash it so thank you jamie <laughs> jamie sent us a reminder that you uh, can be thank you what would i do without jamie thank you jamie um so just thoroughly wash out your bowls throw them in the dishwasher after you've rinsed them out really well and then they're perfectly fine. So, okay, thank you. My friend Jamie reminded me that I forgot my fragrance, which is a oceany type fragrance. Smells super, super good. Smell this one. Well, that does smell Doesn't really good. Doesn't that smell good? Yep. Stormy's asking, did BJ and Ellie get to see the dust storm that went through Arizona? I don't Ooh, think we heard about it. I didn't hear about it. If they did, I don't know. Oh, Deborah says, since watching my first show with you, I started making soap. Now I own my soaping affair, and it's doing great. Very good. That's so exciting. Send me your link. I want to see it. Okay, so I put my fragrance in with my colors, and I'm going to mix them all up. I'm going to go from lightest to darkest, so I don't have to wash my stick blender in between. <laughs> wow, we've got some other good stories about it. Oh no, this is accelerating like very quickly. Wow. Oh dear, I this is not good. Nancy said six months for us too, it'll be 46 years in September. Wow. Is that, the, is that the magic formula? You think we can make it that long without killing each other? Don't wait too long to figure out what bothers you about each other. <laughs> Okay. Okay, never mind. That's this not true. is not acting well <laughs> at all. So I'm just gonna get going here. This wasn't supposed to accelerate. Okay. Well, we'll see what happens. Okay. So this could be a very exciting show, and we don't know it yet. What else is new? All right. <laughs> so, hmm. Okay, so I spilled a little bit of uh, my mixture here. Just gonna get that wiped up. Okay, and then let's get this out of the way. Man, we really need a bigger studio. <sighs> okay, so here we go. I'm getting my molds. And I have new molds on the way. I'm super, super excited. 
Hopefully that works this time. So... Do I need to back away? Is there about to be danger in the house? Well, I hope not. I'm really, Do I need really, to move really my coffee not. so it doesn't sketch any soap? Yeah. Don't get your coffee in the way. Ellen wonders if the kids went to the Painted Desert. Uh, I have no idea. I know they went to the Grand Canyon and they were going to walk, try and walk down to the bottom today. I they were going to try to live stream, but they were trying to do a video call with us and it was kind of sketchy. Yeah. It was pretty though. Okay, so this is... Wow. Setting up. Dad's backing up. Dad's moving away. <laughs> Putting both hands on the computer. <laughs> hmm. Wow. Okay, so this is pretty thick. And let's see what we can do here. Looking good, looking good. Um, I do... Mike will put the link in there if he can find it. Get my soap, my lye, we're talking about lye, at Essential Depot. Where is that link? Um, it is... You didn't print me for it. Oh, shoot. Can you open up one of my soap videos? The oh, The last okay. one, it's in there. Um, <laughs> Sorry, I was looking I do buy my lye at Essential Depot because I know everybody's going to ask me that. And so, I love it. I've been buying it there for a year now, something like that. And I find that they're the cheapest place, especially if you join their Greener Life Club. Uh, like this one that was two days ago? Yeah. If you join their Greener Life Club, um, it's a lot cheaper. Plus you get like free shea butter. You get 20% off. I get um, my lie here? Yeah. And that's where I buy my lye. Oops, didn't get enough green down there. And, oh, this is really setting up. Should I type a, a Central Depot in here? Uh, just where I buy my lye is fine. <gasps> oh, my bucket's cracked. Well, don't you know, there you go. That's why I'm having a spillage problem. Okay. Um, smells good. And I really like their lie it is cheaper than even the places that offer free shipping i have calculated it many many times and it is a lot cheaper okay so this is not performing quite like i was hoping um so we're just gonna do a spoon swirl here and see if we can get it to turn out <laughs> colors look nice yes do I want to know what you're... still seeing some guesses, so I think some people are a little bit behind on oh. that video. Okay. But it's still cute to see the guesses. Danny, are you making fudge for the occasion? Although you don't need an excuse to make fudge. No, I'm not. I'm trying to get weight off, not put weight on. So, okay. <laughs> so now, I'm tapping them down to get the air bubbles out. And... Smooth them down. Okay, so then let me grab my, totally forgot my thing. Okay. Let's see if we can still pipe this baby. I don't know. If we can, we'll try. So, Ocean type fragrances usually accelerate, but when I read the description on this one, I don't recall there being any mention of that happening, which is why I bought it. Whoa. Okay, this is really thick. This is really, really thick, but I think I can get it piped. Okay. Um, that's why you want to read the descriptions of your fragrances before you buy them oh that's actually very lovely oh my i'm happy okay if we can get this done before it sets up this will be great now yeah, this is very very warm believe it or not okay any other questions dear while we're um sorry i don't 
I'm not sure about questions, but, well, except Shannon wants to know our secret to a happy marriage. But then there's other great stories I'll tell you after that. Um, the secret to a happy marriage is you have to remember that you cannot kill him, even though jail may be a vacation for you sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> See, I knew it would be some kind of smart aleck answer. <laughs> no, I mean, our secret is you can't fight about everything. You got to give up some things and it's called forgiveness grace, <laughs> grace. Called grace. mike accepts my lack of planning i accept his fear and anxiety and you do not what? really well okay you i don't tell people that on the show <laughs> i don't know if i accept it but i put up with it i should say ah <laughs> um hey it's not nearly what it used to be. No. And that's it. I mean, you know, if someone's trying to improve themselves with things that they have problems with, you still got to accept it, you know? And same with yourself. So... Anyway, um, oh, this smells divine. I even if it accelerated, I am loving the wait, smell of this. You put your fragrance oil in there. Right? I did. Yeah. Whoops. Okay. Any other questions? Okay, so um, we had some great comments here. People uh, seven says I'm going to say this about that. Seventeen hours is the first date, and you didn't kill each other. That means you were destined for each other. I mean, seventeen hours. Wow. Yeah, it was yeah. funny. Seventeen hours. That was a humongous long date. We just walked all over the national park and ate our lunch and walked some more and. Drove to a new location and did the same. Honestly. We visited like everything we could find yeah, in the park that Yeah, I think day. we visited every single attraction in Rocky Mountain National Park on that day. And, yeah. <laughs> so. Uh, <clears throat> we had some great stories. Rhonda, uh, Rhonda said, oh. Uh, well, Rhonda, uh, this wasn't when I was originally thinking, but Rhonda said, my hubby and I met on a blind date. Two couples that were friends. One couple was my friend, the other couple was his friend. 24 years ago, they dated nine months. Wow. Met in the winter and married in the fall. Wow. Nice. But, uh, where was it? Denise said, my dad shot my mom with a BB gun when she was in the third grade. <gasps> and she still married him 60 oh, years man. this June. Sacred wow. Wonder said, I met my husband in 1979 high school history class. Who did you sit next to in class, Dave? Uh-oh. History class. <laughs> He won't answer because Gavin is here. <laughs> okay, now my soap is really setting up. Oh, come on. Please let me finish piping. Is it getting hard? Or... Oh, it's getting super hard. Do you need the extra squeezing Ugh, power? I don't think it'll... Oh, man. Come on. So close. Mm. Oh, I don't think I'm going to be able to get... Come on. Mm. Wow, oh, I'm exploding my bag. Oh no. Okay, come on, baby. We can do it. We're getting close. Ugh. So close. Come on. Wow, this fragrance really, really decided to go crazy. Am I gonna make it, guys? I don't know. I'm gonna you make it. Oh. Ooh. Uh. oh, it's gonna go in there. It's now it's softening up again. Oh, brother. That's Tigger cool. bouncing is wondering is this cold or hot process? This is cold process. That's you gone crazy. Ugh. But I still managed to get it piped anyway. Even though my piping got a little crooked here. Ooh, and I'm squirting it all over. Okay. All right, so I'm going to show you my new product that I'm super excited about. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. So, have you guys been seeing those soapers? Let me wash my hands here. Hold on. Yeah, we just talked you. I'm sorry. Okay. So, 
have you guys been seeing? We have almost 750 subs. I mean, people watching. Wow! Thanks, guys. <laughs> you can do it with a, a strong arm. Woo! Like, that was intense. Emoji, okay, great. so have you guys seen Someone the new? Someone needs to invent something. <laughs> <laughs> have you guys seen the new sprinkles they have out? They're like super fancy sprinkles. Well, here's the thing, guys. With soap sprink with the sprinkles, they have like six lits and rock candy and that kind of thing in them. <gasps> oh, I'm so happy! Wow. Look at how beautiful that is. Oh, you just maxed oh, out. The I'm so happy. Look at it go. You blew out the sound. There's no sound. So there. Mike's gonna yeah, put a link up. I made my own soap sprinkles because I was super excited. And oh, here it is. I um, wanted some soap sprinkles, but I didn't want to have to pick out all the pieces that I didn't want. So I made my own soap sprinkles. So those of you guys who are into soaping and want to try this, go check out Amazing Soap Sprinkles on Etsy. I got it up today. I'm so happy. I've only got a couple of varieties because I'm just going to see if people want it or not and if they do i'll keep going but i am super oh look at um, is this not the prettiest thing you ever saw myrna says love it when you make soap on the show oh thank you there's still a hole in the one at the end of the one she's working on right there Shoot. Although the soap goes off the edge too, so you might just yeah, have to slice that off. Yeah, that might just have to be a sample. I don't think I can get any more out. Linda says that's beautiful. Ugh, well, I got a tiny bit out. Cindy wants to know where your mom is today. Uh, she's in Kansas. She, oh, she's uh, my brother and sister-in-law sold their house and they're looking for a new one. And so she's with my sister-in-law looking at a new house. Hopefully, <laughs> we hope it'll be a new house for them. Rebecca says, love your cookbook. It was a gift. And she Thank also asks, you. what is a super chat? A super chat is on, on uh, YouTube. If you want, you can donate when you make a chat uh, comment. And um, sometimes people do that just to be nice. But it also gives you like a big colored box. So that's really obvious. So that if we're going through comments and we have a hard time seeing them, you can see them. Or if you're just on the live dashboard, you can pop something like, hey! All right! Woohoo! There's one. So what do you guys think? Are you loving it? So the thing with why I decided to make my own soap sprinkles was because I love this and I am just super excited. And so I wanted to be able to make sure that they were good for soap and didn't have any chocolate stuff like that that would not go well with soap so that's why i made up my own uh concoction so linda wants to know which comes first making soap or dinner <laughs> oh making soap of soap of course there's just <laughs> there's wow. just no doubt about it <laughs> oops i need to look here i, I lost Whoops. it ah i didn't see who said it Somebody wow, this me. is really setting up. <laughs> Linda, I married my brother's best friend. It was so convenient. <laughs> oh, there you go. Somebody All said right. they had a 24-hour day. They were surprised. She's surprised they survived. And I, it ran off the screen just as I was trying to grab it. All right. Lori's asking uh, for you to briefly explain hot and cold and which one is easier. Okay. Let me wash my hands here. All right, despite the fact that this accelerated, I am super, super happy. Yay, isn't it pretty, guys? <laughs> making you. I'm so excited, isn't it pretty? It's so pretty, it's so pretty, my soap, it's pretty, yes it is. It is. <laughs> so okay. I have to tell you, oh sorry, go ahead. Oh, you wanted me to do hot and cold process? No, it's just a comment. Oh, oh okay. It's just a comment, but you can do that. Okay, hot and cold process, cold process. Dave, you can do me now. So cold process is where, is what I just did. You just mix your oils together, put it in the mold and go for it. Hot process, you actually cook it and you can do that three different ways, four different ways actually. You can cook it in the crock pot, you can cook it in the microwave or on the stove top or over a fire, five ways I guess, over a 
fire like grandma used to do. And you can heat up your oils and your lye water. You don't let your lye water cool and you can stick blender hot process up where they're so hot that they cook the oil just from the heat of the reaction of the oils and the lye water. Wow, so. there's several people here that, that got married faster than us. Wow. But, uh, so I'll, oops, there was one that I was looking for here. Um, but first I'll tell you, whoops. Uh, okay, first I'll tell you, uh, Tasha just said married four months later, 27 years and still going strong. But hey, Stella said, I met my husband January 1st and we got married March 30th in the same year. <laughs> just celebrated 34 years. Wow. wow. I don't recommend that for everyone, but I would say I, I was, I kind of knew what I wanted. And I think Tara, did you know what you wanted? It wasn't like we I did, did, but I will say, oh, do I dare say this? I don't know if I should say this or not. This is a Tara. Is she opening her big mouth and she shouldn't moan it? I'm not sure. Oh no. I will <laughs> you probably say, are. <laughs> I will say that I'm glad I married Mike. <gasps> oh no, I can see this has got a big butt after it. <laughs> but <laughs> if we would have dated more than six months, I probably would not have married him. <gasps> what? What? <laughs> See, just, so you made a good call then. I did. Just because many issues with his family that did not present themselves in that short of amount of a time that we dated, Seriously? I didn't see how bad it would be. So, <laughs> well, your family is insane. I'm glad we did. I think God had us do that so that we would get married. Well, but your family like the exact same almost. No, my family doesn't even come close. Oh, no, no, not, no, no, not close to dads is in like dishonoring, like never wanting to so, hang out with you. No, that's totally different. Oh, okay. Mm. So, yeah, so I think it was probably, don't you think it was probably a good idea we got married quick? Yeah, I mean, well, and I, I think could the, say same the same of you. Thing. I was going to say, I think he would say the same thing because he did not understand when we got married how bad my sickness was going to affect our lives. Did you? You didn't really. <laughs> he didn't understand how how bad the CFS and fibromyalgia would completely, you turn know, everything upside down. Yep. turn our lives upside down all the time. You did it, right? I'm mm -hmm. not putting words in your mouth, am I? About that didn't know? Yeah. No, I didn't. I mean, she told me she was sick, but really there was no indication of that when we were dating. Well, and because I'd have a good day and we'd go on a date and then I'd crash I'm not afterwards you, but i'm just saying and then i was kind of like what is going on here and it was yeah it was difficult i honestly probably 10 or 15 years later i still was thinking okay i'm learning new things here <laughs> i've kind of gotten to where i i think i most of the sick side effects i'm more aware of so hey jill is on um, oh your mom's on but um it was oh, oh she says oh. six months after we moved at six after six months after we were married we moved to texas and then i really got sick from the heat and humidity so it was even worse then so we like jumped from the frying pan into the fire when we moved to texas and see i like shannon you have to listen to her she says good thing you married him tara mike is a great catch See, you need some good advice from friends like Shannon. That's not, that's not true. <laughs> just, that's uh, not true. Emran says, in your SOAP e-course, are you going to teach the advanced class how to do hot process no cooking version that you just described? Yes, I am. Yep. So, so today I got the sprinkles online on Etsy. Um, I have to do a couple of revisions in my current soap ebook, and then I'm going to start working on the advanced. I'm not sure if I'm going to that conference, that soap conference in Atlanta yet. I'll find out tomorrow. Um, but if I go to the soap conference in Atlanta, that'll send me back just a little bit. But yeah. Uh, okay, so, so. Um, you two are so adorable together. I get what you're saying, though. Yes. The thing is, it's never perfect with anyone. <clears throat> no. And the thing is, most people are going to, well, 
if you don't discover things about that person that bother you, you're probably not paying attention. Maybe that's a good thing. I don't know. Well, and I did know. I had brought it up before we were married on both of those issues for us. Because I kept telling them, are you sure you're going to be able to handle this? The sick thing? Yeah. And Well, here we are. I know, and you handled it pretty well. I was a little over my head, but I <laughs> learned how to swim <laughs> after taking in a whole lot of water. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm having a request right. for the Etsy store links. Okay, so there's two Etsy stores now. I'm sharing the one for soap, and then I'll share the one for the soap sprinkles here. In a so minute. didn't my little soap balls turn out pretty? I'm just so happy about this, even though this set up... I am just so happy with the way it turned out. I hope there's not many bubbles in it. Penny so says, I love this. Yay. Thank you. <laughs> Let's see. So we've got, uh, oh, Susan says met when we were married, 15, married at 18, married wow. for 26 years. Wow. There you go. Uh, husband and I met work two months later, later had our first date. Two months after that, we got engaged. Two months more married. 35 years. Wow. So did they find a house, Mom? That's what we want to know. The main thing is, for people, when, when people, I, I think that the best, the big secret is to really ask yourself, um, am, am I willing to give a lot more than I think I'm going to get? Because both people end up having to give a whole lot more. And when people get married thinking the other person's gonna fill some part of them, it's not gonna work. If you think you get married and they're gonna complete you, <laughs> do that and get married. <sighs> That's Tara's marriage advice number one. Maybe I should do Tara's marriage advice to go with Tommy Alderman's marriage advice for men. Tara's married advice for but women. Do we need the Mike's marriage advice rebuttal uh, channel? <laughs> <laughs> Jamie says uh, to, talk, he, to uh, talk about the sus sustainably sourced palm oil. Oh, from essential oil. Yeah, so essential oils um, sustainably palm. So, so they had a thing where palm oil was hurting and killing the orangutans. And so... Now they have sustainable palm oil where they actually farm it so that it is not going to hurt the orangutans and burn down the rainforest and that kind of thing. So that is the kind of palm oil that we try to get. I think, I, I think I've always gotten that kind, I think. Um, and yeah, so that's why you want sustainable palm oil for your soap. Uh, wow. So, sorry guys, I'm a little, I'm kind of missing some of the comments, so hopefully I'm, we're going to get to most of them. Um, but, I forgot where it was. <laughs> the, uh, oh, a couple of people were asking about the Etsy link. I have shared it a number of times, I will continue sharing it, but if you miss it, you can go to livingonadime.com, our website, and click on show notes, and all the links that we've been sharing in the show are there. So if you can't see if the one I share for whatever reason. Um, yeah. And tomorrow I am going to make soap. I'm trying to get back on my soap making track here. And tomorrow I am going to make soap. Um, Sandra said if it was perfect, it would be boring. You know, in the first five years, I would say we might have liked a little more boring. <laughs> I will say that probably 90% of the reason we stayed married was because we were Christians and we don't believe in divorce unless basically you have an affair pretty much. Um, but we didn't. Um, but we, were, we didn't talk about getting divorced or anything like never, that. We never ever said that. No, but I think that it helped. I think that helped. Oh yeah, that, definitely. That wasn't even really an option for us. So Bethany Joy is asking, how much time do you spend on packaging and shipping a week? Too much. Um. Yeah. Although I have my neighbor is doing that for me now. So and the boys are doing that for me now. What? So I am <laughs> not. Doing so much of that. Cassidy says my two-year-old is sending you hearts. Oh, <laughs> oh thank thanks. you. So let's see. There were some other things I was thinking. Um, keep I'm... kicking that. Keep, <laughs> keep clicking that heart. <laughs> let's see. Um, hold on a second. Uh, Emirates. My in-laws are way worse than you could ever imagine. Believe me. I don't know. We are... are right up there in the top 99%. Like, if you saw Dad's past 10 years, we, you'd probably have a stroke and die. We were, we, we were in court to get custody for my niece. Yeah. And uh, after it was all over, the attorney said that she had only seen one case that was worse. 
and the couple was... Than what my parents were doing to us, and that the couple in that case actually attempted to kill each other. Like, really made the attempt to actually do it. Yeah, and so, ours was just under that. Ours was only the worst case. So we that, know so. bad. Yeah, we, we know bad. We know bad. Yeah. Um, let's see. There were some others here. Um, sorry, I just... Mm -hmm. Tara, can you travel alone? Because I can't yet. Yeah. I know just some people are... Uh, yeah. For me, if I have my fibromyalgia and my CFS, my chronic fatigue syndrome under control enough that I pretty much lead a normal life, I am really tired, but like with all the soap stuff, stuff and everything, I'm at the point now where I'm trying to make it and let everybody else do everything else because I just can't do all of it. So, oh. um, the mountains are calling it's, and it's, I must go. It's poetic that I'm drinking out of this cup today. So, Maybe should go yeah. get the hot spot. Uh, Simply Joyful says, blind date set up 52 years later, we're still together. I looked on the marriage certificate, cannot find an expiration date, so we have to stay. <laughs> oh, Kim says, in sickness and health, my partner gave me a kidney. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. That's a lot. Um, Tara's marriage advice, please. <laughs> Adult Let's see, sense. yes, answer that, answer that. <laughs> Seriously though, adulting oh. says time. <laughs> Tara's marriage advice, she can't kill him. <laughs> the end. Even though Joe is more, is more appealing sometimes. Actually, it's been a lot better than, uh, but as much as we joke about it, yeah, it's been a lot just, more yeah. positive than negative. Uh, yeah. It's just that at the beginning, there were, for both of us, a lot of kind of expectation bursting, which it's going to happen with pretty much everyone. Believe me, ladies, he's not going to complete you. <laughs> if you ain't completed before you get married, get completed before you get married. Whoa, Tasha said, met my husband in the drive through of Dairy Queen. A mutual friend was taking him to meet my best friend who worked there and happened to meet him first. That sounds wow. like a fun shop thing. Wait, uh, so are you serious about not marrying dad? You wouldn't have married him if you knew his family was away. I don't know. Jamie, Rocky Mountain National Park is magical. What an amazing place to fall in love. Oh. Actually, we went on virtually all of our dates in there. Yeah. We didn't have any money we to lived, do anything We else. lived in Essex Park. We didn't really have a lot of money to do anything. Yeah. And we, um, we did have... I wonder if the other of us had, a, had a an annual pass. pass. Yeah. yeah, let's see. Um, just making sure on the older comments so we didn't miss too many. I think we've hit most of those. So let's see what's new real quick because you're I can tell you're ready to ready Can you to tell I'm fading? Down. Yes. Um, Jasmine, what are your best sources for finding a used car? Uh, we did a whole video. If you go to Living on a Dime on YouTube, search um, buying a car and we did a whole video on that. We should do a show on the custody. Patricia says she's dying to know. Oh, oh man. Jamie's asking, did you get the niece? Yes, we did. And we, um, it was... I mean, we didn't really want to have a, a disagreement with family, but the thing is, she was going to be in a desperate situation if somebody didn't help her, and they didn't want us to take the action that was necessary. Yeah. So, um, let's see. Uh, and to put it in perspective, the day before it all ended, the lawyer told us, expect to be going to the Supreme Court, um, because this has never been... Uh, set as a precedence in precedence 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 i don't know how do you say that hasn't been set in the courts yet and they thought that we were actually going to be heading to the colorado supreme court and maybe even higher because of stuff that was happening my dad was threatening that yeah because his dad his dad told our lawyer he was going to take us to the supreme court because um it was, yeah. And thankfully, God worked it out. It was actually a miracle because the day before that court, the, the final court date, the lawyer told us, just plan on being in court for five more years, even though the child would be 21 years old by this time. The lawyer told us to just plan on it. And we were like, okay, well, here we go. <laughs> okay, so for those who haven't heard it before, though, there was a, um, it, was, it was a big God moment the whole time because yeah. we kept thinking... We kept, they kept saying, be quiet, don't say anything, don't say anything. And, and we kept, didn't. We kept our mouth shut. Even my God was saying, don't say anything, just watch me work. And we'd come in, and we'd and I would be thinking, oh, this is terrifying. Oh, and, they would, and then something strange would happen, and all of a sudden, it went a different direction. And in the end, both times, the way it ended was pretty miraculous, I would yeah. say. Yeah, it was so, pretty crazy. <laughs> uh, I met my husband online through eHarmony. We've been married happily for nine wow. years. 
Well, that's a new one. I've, I've heard of people doing that, but what's all this talk about palm oil? Uh, uh, it's it. just palm oil. Some palm oil was harming and killing orangutans the way they harvested and used it. Oh, is that what that is? I was wondering what that was. There's dripping. No, no it's dripping it? off the rag. Oh, and um, <laughs> so you can get sustainably sourced so that it does not hurt the orangutan's palm oil. But palm, palm oil is, is in everything. So... Uh, Carol, marriage is not 50-50, it's 100-100. That's true. And actually, Emrys has a really great... She says, no one can complete you. You have to already be whole, or at least yeah. working on your own self-improvement. Your partner should complement, not complete you. Yeah. And each oh, gives no. 100%. Oh, is this not the right... Is this not the right link for my Etsy store? No, that, that looks like the right place. Somebody said that it wasn't linking right. Well, you can oh, try it. Oh, shoot. Things. Here. Let me paste in the link. Keeps trying to sell on Etsy. Did I put the wrong one in there? Oh, wait. That's the soap one. Okay, take that one and just write in amazing soaps sprinkles after it. Well, why don't we just do this and see because it's exactly the same formatting. Well, that's what I did, but she said it's not working. Well, but it looks like we're going to the right place. But this is my shop. Oh, we need to look at a different... So, here, let's take a quick look here. Sorry, guys. I don't mean to be... Watch, just go to the other link and put in... Because it's the same link as this one. Well, then how is the other it, one The working? beginning of it is exactly the same. No, I'm saying I'm not sure that it's not working. It just might be... There are other reasons why it might be doing that, like technical problem on the. So I'm just going from a browser Have that doesn't know who you are. Computers actually made our lives better. This is the browser that doesn't yes. know who you are. Computer is like 10 out of 10. So this is it, right? Yeah. Beautiful. So it's working. It's. I, I think there must be a technical problem. Maybe it's. She said, asked if we could put it in the description because it was. Well, that's weird. Well, we'll put it in the description. It's actually it. in the show notes. If you go to livingonadime.com and click show notes, I have actually linked <clears> it. So you should be able to just click it and it should go to the right place. Um, sorry, I was lost. Uh, hmm. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. I just want to know if David Phyllis was able to house. see it with the prices. Bad. Not all bad. Oh, what? Um. You're, yeah, I was wondering what about the... Um, How did you make your marriage? Out? Do they have a relationship? I'm not sure. Oh, is she happier now? Emily? Or, sorry, our niece? Yes, she is. Do we have a relationship um, with his parents? No. Not at all. Um, although, to be honest, it was already disintegrating 20 years before it did. It's just I was trying mm. to kind of keep it together, and it really wasn't. It was one, all my fault. One person can't... In a relationship, one person can't draw, make the relationship work, and they never wanted it to. So, yeah. um, Emily is happier now, uh, but she does see her mom, which is fine. We we weren't trying to prevent that, but we were just trying to keep her in um, in a safe situation. So. Yes. Um, how did you make your marriage strong with financial struggles? It destroys so many. Well, we were on the same goal after the first. Because Mike was listening. And... Uh, yeah, after the first little bit, Mike was willing to change his spending habits and say, you know what, debt isn't good. So yeah, I think we should try and get out of debt. And so... Well, I didn't want to stop spending, but I thought it made a lot of sense that we needed to be out of the debt. And I knew it was true before Tara said it. And I actually, before I met her, I <laughs> did one small little thing because I felt so bad about my debt. <laughs> Which really wasn't that much debt comparatively, but at the time it was huge for me, mm. for us. Um, but anyway, uh, yes, Susan, my parents are still living. Uh, Carol, are my niece is uh, going to a university nearby. Um, <clears throat> so Jennifer says changing from searching for goodness instead of searching for perfection is important in every relationship, even yep. with yourself. That's true. Uh, okay. Let so, me know when you find it. Bethany Joy, how much would you suggest in an emergency fund when you owe money? We I would say, differ from Dave probably on this, I imagine. I would say $1,000 probably, and then just dump everything you can on your credit cards. And if you just really have a true emergency, your car went off the cliff. Emergency, serious. An emergency is not having to go buy a new purse. That oh, kind of no. thing. Not having to go buy pop. 
But a true emergency, you could use your credit cards. But I Still. would say at least get a thousand dollars saved up so that if you need to, you could get a clunker and drive around in that. Oh no, it's not. Laura, uh, some people are asking, how do you deal with the drama of the in laws then? And Shayla's like, yes, tell us how you deal with the drama of the in laws. <laughs> Shayla! <laughs> I don't know, Shayla, how do you deal with the drama? Shayla is my sister in law. Let's not get into that, yeah, shall but we, Shayla? She's, but she's a good in law. <laughs> she is. I even sent her a bunch of soap. Do you yeah. think she liked it? I think she liked it. Um, oh, yeah, I think Mom said she liked it. How do you deal with the in-laws? Well, it's the same thing. You have to let a lot of things go, and their problems are not your problems. Boundaries. If, There's a book called Boundaries. Is it on our If Amazon they make store? their problems your problems, things like, well, you have to spend Christmas with us and that kind of thing, you don't have to. I'm sharing a. Is this so, on our store, right? Our Amazon just store. Just to Ireland. I'm sharing a an our recommended items at Amazon link here, and that's also in the show notes at livingonadime.com. We have a. There's a book that we love to recommend called Boundaries by Cloud and Townsend. Yep. And um, it, oh. it it's very very helpful in dealing with all kinds of relationships where you're struggling with something between people. Yeah. So. Um, Jonathan, Florida Singularity. Here I am living the La, La Vida, Vida single, single living to dream. To dream. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's such a dingling. Uh, uh, um, guys, don't forget we have our meetup July 1st, Mead, Colorado at Founders Park. The information is on our website in the show notes. Go check out our meetup. Um... Please go check out our all of my stores, my soap store, my sprinkle store, my how to save money on grocery store because, you know, Tara just can't stop with the ideas. Um, oh, Terry's asking if you would hold up one of the soaps. Oh, yes. Dave, can you? Oops. There you go. Um, Here, hold up. Let me zoom in and do a... Please visit us at livingonadime.com. And I'll probably share a few of those links as we're going, but again, you can find all the links if you go to livingonadime.com and click on show notes. Yep. So if there's anything you missed and you want to see it, it's there. And we are going to go eat our tostadas. Ooh. And we will see you guys next time. Bye. Good night. Thanks for joining us. Bye. <laughs> our live audience should be clapping. Yay. Yay. All right. <laughs> we have to have an applause sign for you, Gavin. <laughs> exactly. Yeah.